Hey guys, this is the Anime Fiend and today we're going to talk about the greatest character piece ever written on humans and one of the greatest mystery mangas of all time, Monster, written of course by the man, the myth, the legend Naoki Urasawa. Well, here we are. <laughs> Finally, Finally, after talking about it for like a few weeks now, you know, eventually we are here and uh, we are going to talk about, uh, you know, to what some people call the magnum opus of Naoki Urasawa. And if you know who Naoki Urasawa is, then you know he's a legend who has written, you know, a few legendary manga, not you know some legends are like oh they wrote one legendary manga they wrote two but this man he wrote a bunch he wrote a bunch of awesome awesome manga and monster is considered the magnum opus the greatest of the greatest of uh, you know his work so uh, let's get into it now before we begin of course this video is uh, one of the videos of my manga series manga recommendation i've made a few videos i'll make a lot more videos so you know please do check that out and uh, yeah regarding the video series of course this is a manga recommendation video series this is not a review so there will be no spoilers so don't worry about spoilers or anything like that this is just you know just to make you uh, you know nudge you into the right direction of actually reading monster that's all <laughs> so now let's get into it and let me give you a scenario of uh, you know in a perfect world you know you're going on with your work and suddenly you see an old lady she's about to get run over by a truck right and then on the other way you see the mayor who you know who's a little corrupt but also a little important for the city and uh, you know if you save the mayor you also get you know a good like a reputation you become a hero and all that shit right and you see even that mayor is about to get uh, you know run over by uh, a car or something like that right so you get to decide who to save and who to ignore would you want to become a hero by saving the slightly corrupt but important mayor or are you gonna save the old woman who's probably gonna die anyway soon so <laughs> so what will you choose now of course because you're a good and kind person you feel like well the old lady is frail and old and cannot help herself you go to help the lady right and you choose like come on mayor probably he could jump off or probably he notices something or maybe his security people would save him right so you go and save the old lady now of course some time passes and you get to know that this old lady is a serial killer who kills babies and cooks them and uh, you know serves sandwiches of these babies so now what would you do now would you be like well i saved a life whatever happens after that is none of my concern because all i did was save a life and do a good thing and move on or would you be like oh my god because of me saving this old lady she you know she destroyed these many people's lives you know and how would how would knowing that fact affect your life affect your you know a day-to-day -day behavior you know your relationships and how would the people who are victims of these you know crimes react to you and of course the old lady well of course the manga doesn't have the old lady but uh, i'm just you know a hypothetical situation of course and you know this is the main premise of the manga and now of course i said no spoilers but this is kind of a mild spoiler i mean this is the major theme of the manga but still of i mean major premise of the manga that drives the manga but uh, 
I mean, I had to delve into this because otherwise I couldn't like delve into anything else. And I mean, this we we get this premise like almost at the beginning of the manga. So I would say that much of a spoiler is fine, right? <laughs> yeah, it's it's kind of fine. <laughs> But of course, this manga doesn't just delve into that. Of course, it delves deep into you know what makes a human what you know what drives his morale and uh, you know what would it take to you know drive a good human into doing something bad you know of course pe- bad people do bad things good people do good things is what we learn in you know childhood when we were kids we learn that but of course we know everything is just shades of gray it's not black and white of course good people could do bad things bad people could do good things so you know again monster delves deep into this and uh, you know with every character it's not just the main of course everybody praises the main protagonists and and then there's of course johan motherflipping liebert who's probably the most awesome the most crazy maniacal and the most famous and really really well written antagonist of all time i mean one of the best if not the best right so there you go of course to- not talking about just the protagonist and the antagonist even all the other characters of monster are like really well written man i mean everybody you know that everybody every and everybody's story delves into different aspects of you know human sorrow regret you know success failure and you know their morals like how would someone do in one situation or the other situation and well if one is doing you know this way in this situation what would the other character do right so there are like multiple aspects of this and man when i say this manga is a character study do trust me this is the best character study i've ever seen i mean of course you know the most famous berserk the legendary berserk delves into you know how evil humanity could go you know while showing these monsters right these demons these you know crazy as otherworldly creatures where you know you see them commit these atrocities of like you know they you can't even talk about them you know they're that bad and monster delves into something not so fantastical you know it delves into something much more real and it's like it's like you know you get to see some things that humans are capable of doing and you see like damn man this is not even like fake this like this could actually happen and that's why it's much more scary because y- you understand you realize while reading monster that damn man these things can actually happen and that's why monster is even more scary because it's real and you have seen some of these incidents happen maybe maybe on tv maybe in real life or somewhere right but you have seen it and man that that just spooks you like nothing else you know so i mean again there are many more things that uh, you know happen in monster of course but i don't want to give away everything so <laughs> you know do check out monster man it's phenomenal and of course i got to talk about uh, some of the negative some of the two of the negative things i guess i would say one is of course the length of the series and sometimes in some scenes because uh, you got to understand this you know urasawa many of the urasawa mangas you know uh, the main character yes is the main character who drives the plot but uh, so are the other characters so sometimes 
for a long uh, you know period of time for a long period of chapters you won't see the main character and sometimes this feels like a drag sometimes you know other places where it's just going on it feels like oh maybe this is dragging a little lot little more than uh, you know it should have and sometimes you don't even know why it's dragging so you know these things i understand but eventually you know once the plot or the twist has been revealed you'll feel like oh so this is why this was happening right so i would say <clears throat> it's not much of a problem but maybe it is right so there you go and the other thing of course again plot conveniences now some aspects some places you feel like oh well this is well written some places you feel like ah oh, come on that's too much of coincidence right so i mean again plot conveniences come on in every piece of fiction we have plot conveniences some maybe more some maybe less some maybe you know more irritating than uh, the others right so i mean it's it all depends upon you if you think it's too much of a plot convenience to actually happen or maybe you think come on it's fiction we can we can understand that right so that's on you but uh, if you ask me again i would rate this manga a bajillion zillion trillion whatever out of 10 right so yeah this is beyond perfect for me so uh, that's my opinion but anyways if you think the video is good like share subscribe uh, you know comment down what do you guys think about monster have you read monster or are you about to read monster because of me or uh, that's unlikely but <laughs> but uh, you know are you are you planning to read monster and uh, you know decided maybe we should watch a bunch of recommendation videos of monster right so whatever just comment down whatever your thoughts are and uh, well check out my other videos of my video series manga recommendations I've made I think four other than of course this one and uh, I'll make a bunch more uh, you know coming down the line so please check that out as well and uh, if you think these are good then uh, maybe check out my channel as well but <laughs> anyways anyways you know well either way if you think the video is good whatever do do all the things and uh, support and stuff whatever but uh, as always, until next time, peace.